And obviously, Auburn played exceptional. Um, we did not. We'll give them credit for uh, uh, playing really well. Um, they were ready to play. I felt like we were for, through the week. I thought we, uh, coming off of the week, had a really good week of practice. Um, but we got dominated today, and uh, we got to go back to work and figure out why. I guess what this is maybe a simple question. But what what do you think happened? Because you guys obviously played so well last week, and um, I mean, what do you think happened? We couldn't handle the edge um, on defense. Tried different things out there. But anytime they wanted to get on the edge, couldn't handle the run. Um, we didn't tackle well. Went back to where we the protection wasn't any good, you know, giving up five sacks, couldn't run the ball, got stymied running the football. Um, things that we did pretty well last week, you know. And uh, but I did. I, th I, I thought we had a really good week of practice and preparation. I felt really good going into the game. Uh, they jumped on us uh, with the first drive. Uh, then they held us and they, they came back with a punt, but we did the same thing to Florida last week, and they came back, and and we just we never did, and and uh, didn't tackle well all game, didn't didn't block well all game, and, and I, uh, that's what happened. You know, we haven't been in this situation, but we were in it today, and and uh, tried fought, tried to get out of. It. We just we just never did. One of twelve on third downs. I know a lot of third and longs. What would, how significant was that, and what do you think was the issues there? Uh, you you hit it, you know. Third and long was we were always seemed like we couldn't win first down at all, you know. And and uh, third and long was a problem for us. Uh, we we tried several different things: empty, six man protection, rolling out, naked, uh, things of that nature, running it, uh, and uh, they were just more physical than us, and and. Uh, Really dominate as it dominated us. Coach, did you after they jumped out 14 21 0, did you feel like the energy just dropped from the players? And well, you know, it's like a lot of times you'll say you're getting the momentum back. We just never had it. You know what I mean? It was seven, then the punt, then uh, another three and out, then another drive for a touchdown. And uh, you know, at some point you need somebody to make a play, then Nudie made the play. And we go out there in three downs and get two yards and kick a field goal, you know. Um, um, but it it just – they just physically whipped us, you know, in all phases of the game. Questions like this, I think you know that, but – Given the way the season has gone in this game here, are you concerned about your position as head coach? I'm not, uh, and let me say that. Let me say why, because um, it's never been about my, me being the head coach. It's been about me uh, and these kids. So, uh, uh, but to answer your question, no, I'm not. Chris, well, in the middle of the third quarter, there. Could you talk about what, what, when the decision to go to him at that point, just how you thought he performed? Well, you know, we're down 41 to three, and KJ's getting the heck beat out of him back there. And so, uh, obviously, I wanted to look at Jacoby and uh, talk to KJ. And, and uh, I thought he went in there and, and played really well. I thought he played uh, like what I thought he would, you know, like how he's been practicing and things of that nature. But, the bottom line, line, it was seven minutes left in this third quarter. We're down 41 to three. And, and, uh, you know, KJ was bloodied up a little bit and things. And I wanted, I wanted to see what, uh, Jacoby could do. Would you give him a, a look with the ones in practice this week? Do you open it up at all or is it still? Well, we out? have given him some looks, uh, recently, uh, in two minute and some things of that nature. But uh, there's not a quarterback controversy in my opinion. Sideline, like, was there any like players who were defeated out there? Well, as you would imagine, it it was uh, you know you're obviously trying to continue to pump up and and um, 
you know, motivate. We are the some of the kids are all this. The sideline was about what what it was on the field, you know, to be perfectly honest with you. But I didn't feel like we quit or anything. I just didn't feel like we ever started today, you know, and that's all of us. But today it was the same thing. And can you put your finger on why out of the blue? Because you've tackled well on you. Yeah. And well, tackling inside, and we didn't particularly do that well either, but tackling out in space is a whole different story than tackling in space. You know what I mean? And and uh, so we've kind of gotten exposed the last couple of weeks in space. Um, but it wasn't because we didn't work on it, because we spent both first of Indies tackling. And, uh, but we knew that we needed to emphasize what we didn't do well last week against Florida. Um, uh, but, um, uh, we need, need to continue to work on it more because it, 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 we weren't very good at tackling today. You, can you put a finger on why this team has not played well at home? I mean, you guys have played better on the road than you have at home. It started with BYU, then of course, Mississippi state. And then today it just seemed like, you know, you've, been real competitive on the road, but just seemed like at home, you played the worst game. Do you know why? Yeah, I don't. You know, um, yeah, we thought about our routine, what we do, things of that nature. Um, um, you know, we didn't go to the movies, didn't do anything like that. Uh, uh, we never do on a three o'clock game, but you know, it's kind of lock us in, get us focused, all those type things, and. The week was identical to last week, practice-wise. I'll be honest with you, motivation-wise, uh, uh, it was it was a really good week. Uh, it really was. So I don't know why, unless Auburn just is, was that much better than us today. You know, uh, but I don't think that's the case. I think uh, for whatever reason, we didn't play with a lot of. It didn't look to me like a lot of energy and. Maybe they sucked it out of us fast, you know, but that's not what a good coached or well-coached team does. What about the fans, though? I mean, they've stuck with you. That was a good they crowd have. today mm-hmm. to be three and six, and they came out. And a lot of – I mean, they stayed, mm-hmm. you know. Can you talk about the crowd? Well, you know, I I think one of our main goals this week was to perform, perform for them because they'd been sticking with us and been out there like they did. And – uh so I'm really very happy that they came out and, and uh, supported us again and very disappointed that we couldn't uh, do a much better job than what we did. And, you know, we, we saw him without his helmet, and then he starts the second half. Just how did that kind of process happen? Yeah, I don't happen? know. I, I don't really know uh, how bad he is or anything like that. Uh, yeah, for sure. And, you know, the – is there anything specific that you can point to maybe aside from the offensive line of what changed so much from the offense from, you know, last week against Florida to today? No, I mean, you know, last week we threw some bubbles that made some plays and maybe kind of took them out of the box a little bit. Um, we didn't play as much men as what we did saw today. Um, but uh, other than just getting, you know, whipped, um, the other thing I think last week was a surprise to him with what we did and the pace that we did it and all that. Um, uh, but you got to get some first downs to play fast pace. And we, I don't think we had one until somewhere in the second quarter. Uh, does anything change now that, you know, the, the bowl game hopes are, are done, you know, in practice and getting guys on the field. I mean, how does that kind of affect uh, the last well, few we games? Well, we got to win. I mean, we're, we're going to play to win, and we got to beat Florida International next week. I mean, so uh, we're going to continue to do what is um, what we feel is the best to get us um, a win. And uh, I think a lot of it will have to do with where are we physically. You know, we had several guys go off today, so I think we'll have to figure out where we are physically. But – uh, our job is to give our chess, ch- our kids the best chance to win, and and uh, uh, so that's what we'll do next week. From a men- mental standpoint, how do you get the players to engage and and focus down the stretch? Because it is easy 
when your bowl game's gone to kind of let go? Yeah, I mean, there, there was a lot of importance to win today. And that was one of them to keep that alive, you know, to, to get to Missouri. Hopefully you could get to Missouri with that opportunity. Uh, I think right now we talked to him a little bit after uh, afterwards on, you know, we'll kind of see a little bit more of who we're, what we're made of, you know, or we're going to go fight, you know, and, and prepare and do these type things. Uh, this week, I have no doubt that we will, and uh, but uh, we've got to get ready for uh, FIU, and I, I just don't, I don't think there's any way that we won't be ready for them. Uh, I don't think we have a locker room problem, to be honest with you. We, we got our butt kicked today. Yeah, this was the second time y'all have given up a punt return touchdown this year. There's been several other longer punt returns as well. Just can you can you figure out what what's going on there? Can you put your finger on something there? Well, you know we we. Sometimes we'll out kick our coverage a little bit, but if we out kick our coverage and get the ball in the middle of the field, we got problems. And uh, that's a little bit what happened this time and the last time. We can, we can cut it over inside the hash and we can basically take a lot of the field away. And uh, he had a two way go on us a little bit today on that one. And then at the, the end of the half, they'll get the strip sack and then there was a tack that they tacked on a field goal. Just what was the team's mindset? At halftime, did you feel like they were still engaged, or had they let go of the rope a little bit? Just kind of what was the? I thought we were engaged, but we're in trouble now. I mean, we were in trouble. I mean, it's twenty-seven to three, and we hadn't hadn't done a lot of things, and and so a lot of had success either side of the, any any phase of the game, and uh, so we tried to uh, pump them out, up about competing, and and uh, we had the ball first, and all these type things. Uh, we tried to do a good job of adjusting what we were, our protections, our runs, to why are we can't handle the edge on defense, and uh, told them had a game plan of what we were going to try to get done, and trying to give them hope that we're we're in it with them, that we're trying to help them uh, with what we're doing, and uh, it just didn't didn't work. You talked about the way Peyton Thorne operated their offense today. Uh, yeah, it was outstanding. I mean, uh, very good athlete, very good athlete, uh, can throw it. Uh, you know, they, they have kind of changed a little bit lately over the last two, three weeks. Uh, uh, they're going back to a little more fast pace, hurry up type offense. Uh, RPO using him a lot and uh, versus the slow down version that they were doing earlier. Uh, but he's very valuable to them, very good. Their offensive line just – they played lights out. You know, they were they were exceptional. And that, I'm assuming that's including the tight ends and all that. But he ran the offense really, really well and uh, threw the ball well and, and uh, managed the time well. Getting back to your all's third down offensive struggles for a minute, um, how tough is it for Kenny or any play caller, you know, to, to – when you're facing third and long constantly, how, how tough a challenge is that trying to come that's, up with something that's going to work? It's really hard, you know. So you try to concentrate in first and second down, you know, and try to stay out of that long stuff. But then, you know, we had a nice little run and, and got a holding that took us back to first and 20, you know, and I think we ended up – like I went for it on that one on fourth down. But um, um, it's very, very difficult. You know, and then you're going, okay, who are your playmakers? We got to get on the ball. Who are they? You know, who, who are we going to get to? Who, who can we go to, to, to get the ball and, and get the third, first down or get open or who can we count on to protect? You know, there's a lot of things that go into that. And, and obviously, if you're not doing a great job of protection, um, you don't have as much time to get open, and then you've got to think about moving the pocket and doing some things of that nature. And moving the pocket's good if it's not more than five or six yards. And once it starts getting a little deeper than that, then you know you have a little bit more difficulty of success. On the other side, you know, Auburn, I think was seven or twelve or something like that. How tough was that? Because your defense has been pretty good on third down. Well, we we've lost first down all day on defense. I mean, all day. I mean. It, and it seemed like second three, second two, second four all day. And uh, we couldn't win first down. And they – I mean, they should have pretty good success on third down because they were ahead of the chains, it seemed to me, like most all the game. 
I think I saw uh, Braxton after his interception, maybe with some ice on his shoulder. Is, yeah. is he okay? Do you have I don't know. Him? I mean, he I, he didn't he wasn't well enough to come back in the game, but we'll have to see on that. No, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where he is either, injury wise. I'll know more, uh, obviously, uh, tomorrow. 